Chairman and Commissioners, last time we met in the retreat format, we gave you the results of the end of the first quarter. We're continuing that process now with information at mid-year. Information totally from the first and second quarters. That's their answer to it. How do you 
go through the process to find out whether that's the correct answer or not. Who knows? That's, that's what we're on. East Blosh is actually different than the other two also. Sure. And the East Blosh, the school systems say they get probably 15% less total revenue on their splash than we get on ours, but the Department of Revenue can't answer that question either. Well, that's been a mystery for the same time community leaders for years, and I've heard that same thing. Each splash to be one figure, splash to be another figure, lost is another figure, and they're all 1% you would think it would be um, equal, and they're all 1%. Now we're down to being within 10, 15,000. We think that's good. <laughs> <laughs>
kind of goes in the way you can stay when they have some available space, uh, you know, when they contract with the private entities, you know, they've done it in the last four or five years. Um, but it started to slow down to a trickle that they were not putting them in state institutions because the actual per diem housing cost at state institution was less than what they were paying. I mean, it was more than what they were paying at the county. So they just left them. And other counties have built facilities in the last few years, and that's really draining it because they, 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 build, it, they build it for growth, and they have really more capacity than before once they start operations. So then they drive home a, a very small prisoner housing that they bring in any revenue, and that drive pulls away from Lowndes County. I was just saying, Joe, um, there, there's kind of one of the history of using the other old jail now, right? In the future. So this number might possibly change. Yeah. Um, we, we have had to. Uh, what I think that would do, uh, because we had to utilize our space a little bit different, this will allow for um, a better classification process on uh, the way that separate or segregate out inmates based on the crimes, uh, their danger to the other population and to themselves. So that space really but uh, A B uh, from the standpoint of the fact it's just not serviceable because of the conditions of the water the plumbing. Uh, it will allow them a little bit better operational usage of that space for overflow.
something else. Definitely. Well, what you have other areas that you want to find that come up and someone comes up and gets um, an opener for the point of and you pay for the number of copies. Kind of a little catch all for you, a little small, but it comes through. Okay. Yeah. Um, what did you say the uh, concert is class was classified as before? Special. It was a special event, but it was not charged. There was no fees assessed. It had not been for any special event up until last year. And the reason that we did was because each year it grew and each year it was consuming more and more and more of our, uh, of our time. They did pay the sheriff's office correctly. Mm -hmm. She asked for it. She kept us off. She was exchanging with five employees for one. She was in five part time for one. I have a question. Can you go back to the previous page? Sure. What falls under board of commissioners and county manager? You have personnel, personnel, personal services under each one. How does that 
for a cow. Okay, this is, these are individual badges. The Board of Commissioners is the six of you and all of your expenditures. So this is where all your salaries and benefits go, all of your travel money, um, anything like that, any advertising, anything that you do falls under that category. What falls under the county manager's budget is um, Mr. Pritchard and the staff that falls under him, which is Linda, and their expenditures. What we tried to do is to group these to make it easier for you to look at the numbers. Uh, when you get into your budget <clears throat> process, you will have a uh, much more extensive breakdown of personal services, what all that entails, of all the supplies and materials and service contracts. Stephanie, at our request, just tried to, tried to group those so that it would be easier to look at rather than try to analyze every particular one. It makes more sense. And in full detail, this would have been 20 times bigger. But um, I'm trying to condense it to the point where you can see where some of these changes are. Um, also, I need to keep in mind as you're looking at these numbers, specifically the percentage numbers, that some of these line items are weighted forward. Um, some of these services, for example, services and contracts, they're paid up front for services or, that would be greater than a yeah. day. So that's how you sometimes and, and get ahead. We'll, we'll see some of that very shortly. Um, finance, and part of, the, part of the difference between the county manager and finance was a shift in person from his office to my office. Um, human resources, this is one that you'll see. Um, the percentage extended at this point in the year, um, it's 84 percent. That seems high. That's because we have to pay the um, insurance premium, which comes out of this department at the beginning of the year, and that is um, a little over half of their budget. That one payment. So that's some of that weighted forward. Some of them you'll see weighted towards the end. Um, ITS.
for that program, uh, Marcus, was the, um, the cost of housing an inmate versus the cost of the ankle monitor is significantly less. It's 30 something a day or so to house an inmate, or was it eight, seven or eight? Eight. eight. Um, the challenge has been, it's almost like the field of dreams. If you build it, they will come. For every person that we have gotten out of the jail on an ankle monitor, there's been one of their good buddies waiting to take their place. And so that's that's been a challenge for us. But the, the logic behind the ankle monitoring is you get nonviolent first-time offenders out, which it keeps them from being institutionalized. It's just it's just a good plan to get those people out. But um, but the cost of this versus those same costs that those people who are in the jail, it would be less if I'm not mistaken. Does that sound right? So this program is really separate from the other increases we've seen, um, but this is, these people, does this cost less than if these people were in the jail? It actually helps the county from the standpoint of saving, saving on housing, but at the same time it also helps the community from the standpoint of letting them come back into the community and contribute to their household as well, rather than being incarcerated. So it's, that right now is working out as a, as a good program. And again, the judge, the judge has to agree to release these individuals. They have to be nonviolent offenses in order to participate in that program. I have a question, just clarification on I think look under each one of these departments, you see personnel services, personal services. What all is included in that? That is the cost of salaries and benefits for the people in that particular department. All right, and if you have benefits like health insurance, we show that damage coming out of human resources over here as well. When you look at that, but that's a total for the whole county, but this is breaking down like health insurance for each department. Explain that. Um, in your health insurance funds, which is one of the internal service funds um, the auditors were talking about earlier, that is where you account for your health insurance. Um, the revenues from that come from the employee portion of the contribution, um, the amount taken from their paychecks from each pay period, and an amount that is allocated from each budget by the county um, for each department there is an amount allocated per full-time employee that gets transferred over into that fund. And that is, that's part of the revenues of the fund. And then the expenditures are the actual claim fund. Okay, and expenditures come out like under each one of these departments under personal services. That's, that's where the amount that's allocated from each employee or allocated for each employee comes out as an expenditure. And then it shows up as a revenue in that internal service fund okay. for health insurance.
court takes the money to fund that? Thank 
they're totally We're not into that right now. Yeah. I was just kind of getting the idea of this. this you you don't want to see the request. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> I have a question on, on page 13. I noticed that we have, uh, on previous pages, we've had personal services listed under each one, and now we get to be like the library, for example, the $1 million. What falls under services and contracts? These are, a lot of these are listed. Give them out of that. That's, we just that's give them a check. We just the county doesn't. They do their own. 